Story points are an effective, simple means of expressing full team effort for the items in your backlog. They are a key part of the mechanic that allows us to decouple effort from duration in agile planning and projection techniques. Additionally, they help us avoid anchoring estimates toward the predominant functional discipline on a team, often software engineering. There are a few key misconceptions that tend to trip teams up as they attempt to use story points effectively with their backlogs. Welcome to Scrum Tips with Barry Hawkins. In this short video, I'll share three important things to keep in mind when you and your team are using story points to assign effort to the items in your backlogs. Use the full scale. The story point scale, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 20, 40, 100, is very deliberate in its structure. There's more distance between the larger numbers to reinforce that the larger an item is, the less precise you can be in estimating how much effort you think it's going to take. You have a range of outcome sizes in your backlog. Points are meant to allow you to express that. To that end, avoid the common practice of constraining the team to only using some of the sizes in the story point scale. Use the full range to express the full range of sizes in your backlog. Generally, larger story point sizes will skew toward the lower portion of your backlog where items are newer, haven't been broken down, and so forth, and smaller sizes will tend to be toward the top of your backlog where the team has had time to discuss, break down, and iterate upon the outcomes as they travel up your backlog. However, there may be some large outcomes that make it all the way to the top of your backlog. If the team has iterated upon and discussed this item and decided that yes, it makes sense to keep this outcome as a single thing, and yes, it is a large amount of effort, then that can be okay. Don't convert to hours. You'll sometimes see teams attempt to determine a ratio of story points to hours of work. Avoid this practice as it subverts the mechanics that allow us to decouple effort from duration. Additionally, hours are not homogenous across the team. So for a given item, engineering hours are not QA hours or not UX hours or not game design hours. Effort, not complexity. Remember that story points are meant to be a measure of the level of effort for the team to accomplish a given outcome. You'll sometimes hear people say that story points are a measure of complexity, but this is not the case. Story points might be high because you're developing a new algorithm and it's going to be a very complex piece of work. But a story might also have a high number of points because you're gonna to have to manually go touch 500 XML files, which is just a lot of work. It's not complex, it's kind of mind numbing and soul crushing, but it has to happen. Therefore, high number of story points. Thanks for watching this Scrum Tips video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notifications icon so that you'll be first to know when new Scrum Tips and other product development videos are uploaded. If you'd like to know more about story points, check out the video below. If you'd like to see more Scrum Tips, check out the playlist here. Again, I'm Barry Hawkins. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.